What's going on, all you crypto miners out there? Today, I got my 2060 KO, and this is the exact one that I have from EVGA. It is on my test bench, and I'm going to go through the hash rates I'm able to get, and also the profitability of it. Now, my test bench has three other GPUs on it, and, you know, looking at the 2060 KO here, I mean, it's definitely a sleek looking card, and it looks great, paired up ne right next to my uh 3060 and i have it on the actual motherboard here now i didn't put it on a riser for this i just put it on the motherboard uh when i do put it on hive os eventually i do plan on putting it on a riser and i plan on you know trying to work around some type of system to get it up and running right now i have wire racks that i plan on possibly either 3d printing stands or just zip tying it to it and letting them hang down uh, I know that people make uh, I could buy specific mounts that just clip to the wire racks and the, the GPUs just sit down from them but right now I'm just going to zip tie them until either I order those or I just 3d print my own type of stand but you know we'll go through it I'm remoted in here and we'll go through and look at it so <clears throat> now that I'm remoted in here I did drop the power just slightly it's sitting at 131 watts uh, my 3060 is getting a little hot it looks like so I may bump my fan up to 75 on it just to cool it a little and my 3070 so let's go back down to my 2060 now I don't have the fan on in my room right now just to keep cut down on the noise which helps keep a little bit of air circulation in the room but i will keep an eye on these temperatures because the cards are so close together but i plan on getting the power down on this evga 2060 so we'll go ahead and i'm just gonna lower the power on it now because we are sitting pretty high so it looks like 73 is the lowest i can go on this card so we'll see how much power i can pull out of it now i have seen these get down as low as like 90 watts i may be thinking of a different gpu but i have seen these get pretty low on the power i think i'm going to get better efficiency out of it when i put it on hive os i don't think i'm going to get the efficiency that i that it's capable of on uh on windows right now so i may need to up the fan actually to 80 it still looks like it's running a little hot for my liking and i'm going to be upping the memory also we'll take the core down a little bit that may help with um that may help a little bit with the temperature but it looks like i'm hovering at 124 watts here now i want to get that down um i'm gonna slide this down to negative 502 we shouldn't really need much core clock when we're mining ethereum here and i am using t-rex miner so i'm gonna up my memory to 600 and I'm going to let this go. Uh, I might see some temperature rises with the memory going up. I'm not sure. But we'll look. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it. And it looks like I've gotten six shares with my 2060 already. Uh, which is good. Zero reject. But I did just restart the miner because I did just put this onto the test bench. Um, and in the meantime, I haven't really looked too much into what people, are, how people are overclocking these. Uh, but it looks like right now it's on par with my 1070. Uh, with slightly better power uh, and this is a six gigabyte gpu uh, it's not a super just so people know it is just a regular ko uh, but it looks like we're at 28 mega hash and i'm hoping to get this a little above 30 uh, and i'll keep upping the memory a little bit as i go here now i may be able to tweak some curves and get it a little bit better on the power but i'm not going to mess with that today um you know, and with absolute core clock in Hive OS, I can probably get this down just slightly more. But I'm going to see if this climbs up a little bit, and then we will get back to upping the memory just a little bit more. And it looks like it's climbing a little bit. It's at 29.9 mega hash a second right now, and 123 watts. So let's let this go for a few minutes and see what happens. So it looks like 29.9 is where it's at. So I'm going to up it to 800. Uh, I do have, it says it's on the curve, but it's not. I did open the curves, and I didn't really adjust anything. 
in the curve, so I was just checking it out. <clears throat> I may mess with curves later on, because I knew no I can get this power down. Same with some other GPUs. I might be able to get the power down with some curves. Uh, but it looks like we're at over 30 mega hash a second now. 126 watts. Uh, the, the temp is a little higher than I would like. But I'll just up the fan slightly. I know it'll come down a little bit when I put my window fan on and blow some cool air in. Now, we're still over 30. I'm going to pump it to 900 memory. And see if we can just break 31 mega hash a second. Uh, if I can break 31 mega hash a second, I may go up to 950 and see if I can hit 32. But I don't want to push it too hard on the memory because I don't want to create too much heat since it's already a pretty hot GPU, in my opinion, sitting at over 60C. And if my room temperature spikes a little bit, then it's just going to get a little bit hotter. Um, but I'm comfortable with 61 to 62C, but it looks like 31.2, 31.02 is, looks like that's what I'm getting now. <clears throat> I'm not going to mess with the curve editors. I know if I can get the power down slightly, I could get the temperature down since they, they will go hand in hand with each other. Um, less power creates less heat, so I could get the temperature down but I don't want to mess with the curves too much because I haven't done it before. Um, I know a lot of miners will do it. They'll go into the curve editor and pretty much lower it so that this um, core clock will be at like 1200 megahertz because we don't need the core clock for uh, Ethereum pretty much. We just need the memory. And it looks like it bumped up to 31.2. I'm going to go to 950, actually, and see what we can achieve there. I don't see any... looks like we're up to 125 watts. I don't see it's going up too high on the wattage here. Um, I did have a 3070 on here doing about the same 125 watts. So power-wise, I'm no different than what I was at before. I'm actually... No, same GP, amount of GPUs, 40. Just a little less of a mega hash since you know my 3070 was ripping 62 mega hash a second but i have that on a high rig now so now i'm just gaining another 30 mega hash in a sense so it looks like 31.3 is about where i'm going to be sitting i'm going to leave this just where it's at uh maybe mess with the curve editor. i'm not sure i probably won't but you know that's where it's at 31 mega hash a second 124 watts i'm pretty happy with that so let's go into we'll go into what to mine we'll do 100 and we'll do 31 mega hash a second 124 watts so if we go here 31 mega hash a second at 124 watts now i am a 13 uh kilowatts so 682 a day i'm profiting six dollars and 44 cents a day just off that 2060 so pretty profitable um i have it mining on ether mine right now with t-rex miner so pretty profitable card six dollars and 44 cents a day now pretty profitable i mean if you can get your hands on these definitely worth mining on especially on ethereum uh just out of curiosity if i was getting 31 mega hash on ethereum classic i would sit at 233 a day so that did drop a tiny bit in price but still profitable if, uh you didn't want to mine ethereum now on nice hash not as profitable because they rent hash power you don't actually mine the coin but ethereum is pretty profitable 682 a day like i said 644 and it's trading just under four uh thousand dollars per coin uh on uh, coin 360 is about the same and then the calculation on what to mine just about just under four thousand so you're looking at close to six dollars and fifty cents a day profit all right so i did end up messing with the curve editor even though i said i wasn't going to but i got it down to 84 watts at 31.66 mega hash a second uh so i'm gonna redo a profitability now because obviously it's going to be more than what I originally said. So we'll go back over to what to mine. 
and right now, I mean, I still had it open, so it's not too big a deal, but 31 mega hash a second at 85 watts now. We'll do uh, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic just to be, think about it. So 656 profit and 682 revenue. So uh, it's still sitting around what we did and then 211 profit on Ethereum Classic. And that's just with a little tweak to the curve editor. Now, this was my first time messing with curves and you know every time i applied it the line just went flat i don't know if that's because i would bump the 700 millivolts up to a little bit higher so i'd like hold control shift and drag the whole thing down so the whole line came down and then i'd bump up my 700 millivolts to just over 1200 megahertz and then i applied it once i applied the whole line went flat i don't know if that's common i don't know if it's just because of the afterburner i'm using uh, but it got me 31.67 mega hash a second at 84 watts. My temperatures are down. Uh, and I also lowered my fan down to 70%. I'm sitting at 51C, which is awesome. Now, I might actually try this with my 3060 uh, off camera just to try and see if I can get the power down just a little bit. I've heard of people getting a little better power efficiency out of them. If I can, I'll do that to my other rig also. Um, it's very similar, I think, to an absolute core clock on uh, Hive OS. So, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'd like to see if anyone else is running 2060s, if they use the curves, or if, or like what hash rates they're running, if they're on Hive OS, what hash rates they're getting, and what wires they're getting. But make sure you comment, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.